church. Uh, hey, we the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here to you week in, week out to prophesy the downfall of America and also to wake up our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that, wake, that make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Before we open up, we want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushah, Bashem, Rukak, Badash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to all you Akim out here that's laboring in this truth and truth and sincerity, all right? Go ahead, brother, with that one scripture. God. All right, the book of Romans. Romans chapter 13 verse 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep right now and now knowing the time it is a high time to wake up out of sleep out of being at ease over here in Babylon being, being comfortable in, in, your, in, in your way of living because right now is the time that you should be waking up and repenting for your sins. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand and our Lord is on the way. He's on the way to uh, to redeem the, the remnant of, of the nation of Israel. God. Okay? Go ahead, read. Romans 13 and 11. Uh-huh. And that knowing it's high time now to high time uh, that that now is high time to awake out of sleep. Right, yeah, because you still got some time to repent. You know, you got a little time to repent. You know, before the, uh, before the doors of mercy closed, man. And the Lord, he he, he led, he, he leave you uh, uh, clues, you know, when the doors of mercy is about to be closed, man. Right now, we're in those times. You know, they got something called the RFID chip. It's called the mark of the beast. It's the mark of the beast right now. They're gonna implement that and make this a cashless society. And then if you take that mark, the Heavenly Father's not gonna save you. You're gonna get, you're gonna get destroyed with the rest of this world. We're gonna go into that. Go ahead and read, read the rest of that. God, now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation near then when we believe. Right, it's, it's the kingdom of heaven is truly at hand. We are in the times right now with, with the Lord. He's like right around the corner. This is the last days of the last days. And a lot of you people are going to get caught because you're comfortable. You're, you're, you're sitting at ease, not paying attention, you know, to, to the signs of the times that we're in. The government shutdown is not just happening. You know what I'm saying? For for any reason, man. That's it's just propaganda to keep you distracted. Our Kelly is just a distraction to keep you to keep you blind for what's really going on, man. But you you got something? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Khan, I was just thinking, that's the spirit. Yeah, Khan, get that, brother. Yep. Amos chapter 6 verse 1. Uh-huh. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. Right. Woe and to them that are at ease in, in Zion. That's talking about you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. This that woe means destruction. Destruction into you. Because you're at ease, you're not paying attention to the words of the Heavenly Father. The, the, the words of the Heavenly Father has been out here to you week in and week out. Matter of fact, on the daily. And you're not, paying, you're not taking heed, man. So what's going to happen, man? Destruction. You're going to get caught up in the destruction, man, that's going on, man. Go ahead. God. Woe to them, woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria. Right. Yeah, because you trust in the you trust in this nation, man. Yeah. You trust in the so-called white man who is known as Esau Edom in the Bible, man. You trust in his in his system. And, and a lot of you gonna take that RFID chip, man, because you trust in this devil. Because how the way that devil gonna promote that chip, he gonna promote it through celebrities. Something you worship. You worship these these uh, celebrities, man. And that's how he gonna promote that chip. He's already doing it with certain rappers, man. 
Go ahead. Kind of into that. I mean, uh, I got another one. Kind. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12. And it shall come to pass that at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. Right, and, and that's what the Lord doing, man. And we out here to gather up the lost sheep of Israel. And we have the light for, for, the, for the lost sheep of the, of the Heavenly Father, man. And the ones, the ones of you of Israel that's not taking heed to this light, this beacon that's shining out here for you to return back to the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father is going to destroy you, man, with a swift destruction. Huh. You're going to get destroyed with nuclear thermal missile fire. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass that at that time that I shall search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled with their leaves. Right. right? All, all of you that's out here with your pants down, man. That's right. You ain't out here paying attention. You're not on your watch. We're the watchmen of Israel. We are here to report to you what's going on right now, prophesying, man. We prophesy to you what's going on in this time. Just like the days of old, the prophets of old did the same thing. The Lord got the men of the uh, 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 of now, the prophets of now, telling you the same things, man. And right now, this is the time, man. This is the time right now, man, to repent. This is the time to return back to the Heavenly Father. If you don't return back, man, you're going to get caught in that swift destruction. Look for the thermal fire. Okay? Go ahead. All right. Hey, that word leads. The Lord says he's coming back to punish the men settled in their leaves, all right? That word leaves goes back to safe or comfort, all right, or guard, all right? That word in the Hebrew is shamar, and that word means to guard, protect. So the Lord is going to come back and punish those men that are settled on their protection, all right, and their comfort, you know? That's all Jake worry about is how, how, how they can be comfortable, you know? The scripture says, woe to them that are in Eve and Zion. Matter of fact, did you get that? Uh, well, as a matter of fact, get up like the 2 and 11. Real quick. Nah. Let me get this real quick, too. Let me get that. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. He said, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not the time to be sitting on your ass, man, playing your, your PlayStation, playing your, 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 uh, your, your Xbox. This ain't the time to be all up in your woman ass. This is the time right now, man, to, to be blowing a trumpet for the nation of Israel, man. If you a man of Israel, if you are a, a Israelite male, you supposed to be out here sounding the alarm, man. You supposed to be out here seeking diligently, seeking the Lord diligently, man, and warning your people, man, for the times that's coming. This ain't the, this ain't our rest, man. Babylon was our punishment. America is our punishment, man. We at the bottom right now, man. So-called Negroes, Latino, Native American men are at the bottom. We have no power. We have no control over over nothing here, man. We, we can't stop the government shutdown. We can't stop shit. We can't change the laws, man. The laws are designed to, against us, man. They're against the, uh, the, the nation of Israel. We can't change a goddamn thing. All we can do is try to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, man. That's all we can do. And warn our people, man, and tell them who they is. And tell them that they got to do the same thing, man. Right. Keep the law, and commandments to the best of your ability. Of the Heavenly Father, that's all we can do, man. This ain't our rest, man. This ain't the time to be sitting on your hands, man. And, and for all of you Israelite men that's out here sitting on your hands and not taking heed to the warnings, you're going to get caught, man. First Thessalonians chapter 5, start at 1. Start at 1. Yep. Right. You finish this, Michael? Yeah, go ahead, Kyle. You can finish reading, man. All right, uh, God, I got you. Back in Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted 
and it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. Right, right. This place is polluted, man. It's polluted with all types of madness, man. All types of abominations. Why would you want to rest here? You should be actually, you should be depressed. You should be one the Heavenly Father to come, man. You should be signed to Christ. This ain't the time, man, to be sitting here being comfortable and shit. You know, this place is completely polluted with all types of wickedness. You got homosexuality rampant in this wicked place, man. You got women out here all out, out of control in this place, man, with liberties to do whatever the hell they want to do, man. You got men out here acting effeminate, not being men. Go ahead. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. And, if, and knowing that, man, knowing that the, that, the, that the day of the Lord come like a thief in the night is where you should be getting your houses together, man. Get your house in order. Repenting. Because you know the Lord put something in your spirit, man. To know, man, this is it, damn it. Shalom. That, that, that this is it. This is the end right here, man. This is the time right now. You supposed to be getting yourself together with the only father. Uh got that first Thessalonians. Yeah, yeah. You got it straight? Yes, yeah, everybody. Alright, come. Yes, yeah, everybody. Alright. And look at the season we in right now, man. We in the times right now with our Lord. He told us how the way it was gonna be, man. Well, when we knew, when we know that the end is gonna be near. Even your half-assed pastor know that much. He teaching. You know, in his church, he done read it. I heard my pastor read it before. And we are actually in those times right now where the Lord said it was gonna, you ain't gonna know the seasons from the other seasons, man. Look at the weather, man. The, the weather bugged out, man. We just not getting snow. And this in January, man. The weather been, we been getting like 40 and 50 degree weather. In, in, uh, in, uh, in Indiana and Chicago. You know, it's been seeming like spring. I, I see some, some damn flies and bees last week. It's bugged the hell out. Right. Go ahead. All right, uh, First Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For a wind they shall say peace and safety. Right, the Lord, he coming like a thief in the night, man. He gonna come when, it, when it's unexpected. He's coming in a time when you ain't gonna expect him to come. You know, so, so if you fear the Lord like you say you do, you're supposed to be getting yourself right, man. You're supposed to be already ready. You, you don't want the Lord to catch you, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, doing some shit you ain't got no business doing, man. Go ahead. Kyle. Hey, uh, that's, the, that's the revelations, all right? It says, uh, behold, I come quickly, all right? Keep thou which thou hast, you know? Kyle, somebody get that. It's in uh, Revelations uh, uh, 3. Uh, yeah, 3 and 10. 3 and 10, yeah, get that. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. He shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his domain to consume and to destroy it until the end. That's right. No, they're wearing us out now, man. You know, you know. I mean, I, us, us as a people, we gotta we gotta work every day to be able to survive in this wicked ass place, man. You know, that's a distraction, man. That's a distraction to take you away from the heavenly Father, the heart of our shaman, man. Hey, I'm rather see it. It's time for us now to get right, man. Before before it's too late, man. Right, and, and this devil, that's all he ever did, man, was make distractions, make these distractions for you, man. What with, with the entertainment uh, um, industry. The entertainment industry is like one of the biggest distractions, man, amongst our people, man. It, it all begins with us being a salt of the world, man, being the best at everything. You know, and Jake just get all into that shit, man, and forget, totally forget, you know what I'm saying, about the Heavenly Father. 
Go ahead. God. All right, Second Thessalonians uh, five and four. Mm-hmm. But ye brethren are not in darkness. Oh no, it's, it's uh, three. Yeah, kind of three. Yeah. Uh, First Thessalonians five and three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Right. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. Like yeah, the government shut down. It's all. It's everything is messed up right now. This devil. He'll, he'll, he'll open up the government again. And how you thinking that everything is all good, man? You know? And then, then, and then, man, hey, that's when a sudden destruction gonna happen, man. That's when all pandemonium gonna happen, man. Martial law. You know, they're gonna be riding down your block, you know, kicking in your doors, man. Grabbing you up, man, taking you to these concentration camps, man. Because now, hey, then that RFID chip, man, gonna be mandatory. Right. It's gonna be a mandatory thing for you to take it, and if you don't take it, man, you are gonna get the guillotine. Is it more to that? Yeah. Right. Yep. It says, "As travaileth upon a woman with child, yep, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, right? The but the, 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 the men of the Lord are not out here in darkness, man. We we out here preparing, man. Lord willing, man." You know, trying to get our houses in order, man, and doing what the uh, what what I am the Father instructed us to do, man. Trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, and tell you, you know, what you got to do, man. Cause that's what our heavenly Father told us what we had to do. Right. You know, He told us to come out here and sound out like a trumpet, man, and warn our people of their transgression. That means warn you of your sins, cause you're not, you don't even know that you are sinning against the heavenly Father because you've been lied to. The so-called white man's been lying to you all this time, man. Been keeping you sleeping docile, man, from who you are. You are the children of the Heavenly Father, man. You are the beloved Israelites, man. Go ahead. God. It says, uh, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right. It's not going to overtake the men of the Lord as a thief because they watch you. The, the men of the Lord out here watching, man. We looking at the news, man. We paying attention to everything that's going on, man. So we, 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 we're getting prepared. Go ahead. Ouch. Shit. All right. Five. We are all children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right. Go ahead. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Right, let us, let us not sleep as do others, man. We got to be out here quicken. We got to always be in the spirit, man. Paying attention to what's going on, man. We're not walking around here in our flesh, dead, man. That's vital. It's vital that you stay, you stay alert. That's right. Especially in these times, man. If you're not alert right now to what's going on, which is a very exciting time, we should be very excited right now because our Lord is on the way. This is the time right now to really be excited. God. You know, looking at all these, these different news clippings coming out, man, about this RFID chip, man. It, 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 it reassures us, man, that the kingdom of heaven is really at hand, man. It's like right here, man. This is the time right now, man, to really, man, be so excited, man. Hey, this is the good news we out here preaching, man. The gospel. The good news has been that salvation for the children of Israel, man. That's salvation. That's hope out of this hell that you in, man. We got hope, you know, to make it up out of this hell. Make it out of being up under this damn devil, man. Having our own, our own kingdom, our own nation, man, again. You know? This is, this is a really great time right now to be in, man. Go ahead. God, therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Right, let us watch and be sober, man. Let us not get caught up in this, in this fool out here in this world, man. This madness, man. The scriptures say that a man of war don't entangle himself with the affairs of the world. You know, this is the time right now to not get yourself you know, entangled with all this madness out here, man. Forget R. Kelly. You know, R. Kelly is a joke, man. They just 